when it's Monday, you know, we have to talk scholarship on Scholars Pivot. So welcome to another episode on Scholars Pivot. And um, today, like I promised to you in my previous video, we'll be talking about how to search for um, supervisors in Canada and the USA. You know, for most part, we've been dropping videos, um, and these are usually organizational funded um, scholarships or program funded scholarships. Um, these are usually for professional masters and sometimes for research masters too but this particular video will be solely focusing on research masters so um, how do you find supervisors because um, oftentimes the other ones professional masters are usually very competitive and even this one too is competitive it depends on you being able to your grit and your hard work how much work you are willing to put in to search for a supervisor would usually determine the success um, so today I'll be showing you how to search for, um, you know, supervisors in schools in Canada and in the US. It's the same trick, but I'll be showing you this. Um, so without much ado, let's get into it. So first, for universities in Canada, um, I'll just say, you know, you have um, your Google page like this. Just go ahead and say maybe you type um, list of investors in Canada into the search bar. Um, you see different websites offering list of schools in Canada. You can check for icu.org and you find investors in Canada. You can go, go on, pick any school you're interested in, you know, applying to, and then go ahead and put in an application or go ahead and search for through the school's um, website and see um, what opportunities are there, which professors are actually taking in students newly. The other option would be to even be specific. So let's say, you know, your empty Google page like this, you go ahead, you search for say, universities in Canada for masters in chemistry. I'm just using this as an example. You will see so many options. Um, this is um, a different schools. Um, but then, of course, universities in Canada. So, for instance, um, what I did earlier on was I searched, I clicked on a Master of Science in Chemistry. So, for UBC, it brings you here. It brings you here. Um, this is what they call um, the Graduate and Postdoctoral Studies Graduate School website. So, this is where you get um, like a synopsis of all the different um, graduate programs that exist at UBC. I'm using UBC as an example for now. Um, so. Here, you would also see something called the program website. This is where you find detailed information about that particular program. In this case, it is chemistry. So um, let's click that as well. And um, you see here, we see different options. It gives you news on the website and stuff like that. Leave that, come to research and teaching faculty. Here is where you see research areas, there are research centers, facilities, faculty. You can search for faculty profiles as well. Let's click search for faculty profiles. Here you see, you can go ahead and you know if you know a professor that you want to search for, type his, um, his name there and go ahead and search for him. But what about if you click on um, research faculty? It shows you a list of all the researchers or professors in the chemistry, um, department at UBC it shows you all of them and they all have an email so if you want to send an email to them this is the email address you'll be sending it to you see it shows you all of them all of them right so that's that um, here if you click on um, say research areas for instance you see what they are working on analysis chemistry biological and medicinal chemistry you know and then the list goes on like that I'm going to do an example. Let me just pick environmental chemistry, for instance. Um, so, who are those researchers that are working in environmental chemistry? Alan Bertram, Christian Orient, Nadine Boudoirs, did kind of the pronunciation is correct, Ed Grant. Um, these are their projects. So, you can look here and see what they are working on. If you're on another that was in chemistry, what was your um, final year project? What was it on? Is there, is it similar to, is there anything similar to it in here? Then, Go ahead and check it out. Um, so, for instance, let me say I click Alan Bertram. 
here I see this is his email, this is his research group, and this is this link to the research user I will see get to be able to direct myself to his website. But then here you get a synopsis of what he does before you go ahead and start searching, digging into his website. You see all that he does, this is focus. So if it's in, if it's something that is that interests you or similar to something you've done in kind class or something you want to do, go ahead, follow through with it. You see, betram.chem.ubc.c. This is his website. Um, you see, this are your, this is his website page. You see here, you see positions available. When you click positions available, it tells you we have positions available for both graduate and undergraduate students. If you are interested, please inquire here. This is his email. So meaning they have an opening. So if, if anybody who is, I've helped you out now, if anybody who is um, interested in doing chemistry or who has a chemistry background wants to go ahead and apply, you can, you can go ahead and follow this up. So you see this is how the website, website is designed for UBC and chemistry and Bertram, uh, Bertram, Professor Bertram's website. It might look different on other, at, uh, for other schools. But then the principle still remains the same. You search for the schools, you go ahead and search for departments. Let me do, and then you go ahead and search for the, um, what's it called, the particular professor, the lab you are interested in working in, check if they have positions available, and then you follow through. When you get this, this is where you get to write a code email, like we always talk about. There's so many information out there about writing code email. If you guys still need help with that, go ahead and hit me up. In the comment section leave a message in the comment section that you want me to do that and i'll share with you but before i do that share show, share it with you um, from usa universities let me show you some videos that i've done in times past especially as it concerns um you know schools and searching for this kind of funding in canadian schools i remember i have hosted um a couple of scholars um i've hosted um dr ahmed i'm trying to look up the video on the scholars Pivot YouTube channel, good. Um, so, on Scholars Pivot YouTube channel, you would find videos on how to search, for how to secure funding um, in these schools. So here, um, you see winning scholarships and securing funding. This is in the USA, but the principles still apply as the same. And then this is also in Canada, winning scholarships and securing funding. So these are um, scholars who have won this type of funding they got funding they didn't um you know get some of them got some um, program based scholarships or professional master scholarships too but they also got funding so this is from professors so this is how this video shows you tips on how to go about this so i said i'm going to also show you in the u.s so let's go back um let's just open a new home page so yeah let's say universities I'm gonna do chemistry too in ESA masters in chemistry so you search um you see different many many you know different schools different schools um so different schools different schools um I think I saw one at Oregon for instance oh Okay, this is USF. So let's do University of San, Fr San Francisco. Um, so you click it, you see undergraduate programs. If you notice, the setup of this website is different, but the principle remains the same. Just look out for what concerns you. If you're a graduate student, what you're searching for is graduate programs. So let's do graduate programs. So you see here, you see different options. You see different options. Um, so. We wanted to do chemistry. Let's click on chemistry. Um, here, you see different options. You see also, you see faculty, student research, careers, and it goes on. So let's do faculty. This is where you see supervisors and professors. So you see the way it's set up is different. Herman Nikolaevsky, Osasiri, Ibon. This is even someone from a, of a Nigerian background. Yeah. So. Um, then you go ahead and if you click on a name, for instance, it tells you, it gives you um, an idea of what she's working on. It gives you an idea of what, what she's working on, her publications and things like that. 
these are things that you would look at when you look out for when you want to send her um, a cold email. You see her email is right there. So if you go back to that page, you see lots of professors, you see. This is the first time I'm coming to this website and I'm just seeing it right in the same way. So guys, it's um, pretty straightforward. The, the, the method is the same. Um, search for a, pick a university you are interested in. The universities are replaced in the, in the United States. If you don't know, just type list of universities in, in USA that offers urban planning. List of universities in the, in the USA that offers masters in um, biology, that offers masters in this. You know, just specify and you get lots of options. Or just, you know, start checking, go, get a generic list of investors in the United of investors in the USA and start sifting through it one after the other. It's hard work, but then the reward is usually very, very great. Um, so, oh, you see, he even has a lab, Stevenson lab. Maybe she even also, she also, so here, good. You see his publications, you see members of his, of his lab, and then all the other details. Oh, look at, he said the Stevenson lab is looking for motivated and enthusiastic undergraduate and master student interested in bio in organic chemistry, calorimetry, spectroscopy, blah, blah, blah. So they are always looking for students. This is one sure way to get funded. I want to check if that professor I checked earlier on, like the one who has a Nigerian name, also has um, a, like, you know, she doesn't have a website. But many of them do. Many of them do. So, guys, this is one um, video you want to take serious. One sure way to get positions across the world. And schools in the United States, schools in Canada are taking in students every year. You just need to show yourself, um, you just need to put in the application, you need to search for it, do your own homework, and um, leave the rest, uh, like they said, the rest is history. So guys, that will be all for today. Like I said later on, if you want me to, you know, also do a video on, you know, how to write a cold email, you know, how to write a professor and get response um, or maybe share with you some of those tips that I've garnered over time leave a comment in the comment section below if you've enjoyed this video and all that I've shared remember to hit the like button um, also remember to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe share it around for others to benefit um, till I see you guys on the next one cheers